Actually, this is the provoked brawn, and I'm a bit late to this party, but this is what Glorious is calling its key capsules lineup, which is a limited edition set of keycaps that you're able to buy in various different quantities. Key capsules are available every month with new sets being available, up to a thousand sets on offer. So you're getting a really limited edition look and feel for your keyboard. And in this video, I'm using the GMMK2 to demonstrate the change that you can make transforming a pretty standard keyboard into something that looks really special. Now, this is obviously for this glorious keyboard, but you can use these keycaps with any keyboard with standard Cherry Amex style crosshatch switches. So it will transform the look and feel of them. And as you can see, it changes so that the RGB is interesting still as well. These are PBT double shot keycaps, which means they're textured and should last over time, but they're also quite smooth on the fingertips and comfortable to use from what I've seen. High quality finish, and some nice style to them. Obviously the sketch one won't be for everybody because as you can see, there's no lettering on the front, which means that you can't see where the keys are. So you have to look at an angle, but I've actually found that in the seated position, you can see them quite nicely. You can see them all here and they do look like they're drawn on. Now I don't think video is gonna do it that much justice because the quality of these are actually really nice. They look really nice in person and they're quite special. And you obviously have these accent colors for the WASD and for the directional arrows as well on either side. So you've got a little pop of color in what is otherwise a black and white key set. But naturally these are limited editions, so they're really limited runs, so you're gonna make your keyboard pretty unique. Now this kit, for example, is marked as being number 307 of a thousand. And as I said, they can do up to a thousand, but some of the runs might be as little as 500. So you could have a pretty unique set of keycaps, especially for your own keyboard. I've shown it on the GMMK2, which is obviously quite a compact keyboard, but as you can see from the boxes, you do get a number of other caps included in there as well. You'll see you have enough for doing a full-size keyboard and the ANSI ISO variations of it as well, so there's plenty of variety there. And a close look at them, you'll see nice quality design to them. Obviously, with this style being intentionally messy on the lines and on the lettering to give it that sort of funky look to it, so not everyone's going to like it, but I'm quite a fan of how it transforms the keyboard. So I thought I'd just demonstrate how that was done, because you obviously get a keycap puller in the box, both with the keyboard itself and with the keycaps as well. So I've done time lapse just so you can see the transformation of this. And you have the choice as well. You don't have to use the colored WASD and directional arrows if you don't want to. You also have the option to use the same black and white theme for those keys as you do for the other ones. And even the escape key has a cross on it. So you can just make it black and white across the entire thing if you prefer. So you've got some choice in what you do and how it ends up looking as well as not only being pretty unique in a limited edition, you can also make it look even more unique. And I personally like those accented ones with a little pop of color in them, but it's a nice touch that you have the choice. You'll also notice there's a large enter key included in here, which is perfect for the ISO layout if you've got a European or UK keyboard instead that you want to use it with. And it has the smaller shift and other variations of the keys that you'd need for other styles of keyboard that aren't US based. These are obviously limited and you probably can't get this sketch keyboard anymore, but you will have other options available to you from Glorious. So it is worth checking out their website and I'll link in the description down below so you can sign up for updates on that. And now you can hear a sound test of what the keyboard sounded like originally and then with the new keycaps on to hear the difference between those. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.